Please welcome to the stage, Director of Product, Vanessa Lee. Hey everyone. Woo, what a morning. Today I want to talk about all the things that we're building for developers. But before I begin, I want to take a second and recognize all the APIs and extensions that have launched throughout these morning's talks. From point of sale card extension to order editing, more than ever, we've launched so much for developers. I think that's amazing. We're super excited about this at Shopify. And it just goes to show you how many teams are building for you, our partners and developers, every single day. OK, now let's shift gears and talk about what we're doing to make the platform more powerful for all developers, no matter what API or extension you use. This year, we have four major goals for the app platform, to make apps easier to build, more embedded, faster than ever before, and stable. So let's start it by talking about how we're going to make apps easier to build. We're developers ourselves at Shopify. So we know that you want to be the most productive you can be when you're building an app. We know that you don't want to spend a lot of time creating boilerplate code or switching between different tools. And so when we're thinking about how we want to evolve the developer experience in 2019 for Shopify developers, we wanted to put everything that you need to build a world-class app on Shopify in one place. So I'm so excited to announce a new tool called the Shopify App Command Line Interface. With the new Shopify app CLI, you can now spend less time setting up your app and more time actually building the things that make it valuable. So this is how it works. To create a new project, you launch the Shopify app CLI, and then type in Shopify create project. Makes sense. Now let's switch to our code editor. We can see that the Shopify app CLI has set up a skeleton of our app for us, and that this skeleton contains all the things that we need to get started like authentication, index pages, et cetera. And as we build, we can generate new components, like pages, routes, and webhooks, simply by typing in Shopify Generate. So that's a lot of code that we get for free. And that translates to a lot of development time that we all just saved. And not only that, all of this code is optimized to work best with Shopify, which means that it works with the latest stable APIs and extensions from the moment it's generated. But the app is only half the equation, isn't it? We need a store to test it against, a sandbox. And so the app CLI doesn't just help us generate code, it also helps us manage all of our development stores as well. Let's see how that works. So we're, we're in our app CLI, and we can create a new development store by typing in Shopify Create Dev Store. And then switching to our partner dashboard, we can see that the app CLI has set up a new development store for us called Quiet Pine, and that it's going to help us install the app that we're building on this new development store. So this development store that the app CLI has created for us looks kind of empty. So let's populate it with some products. This gives us something that we can actually test it against. If you're an app developer, you know how annoying that this can be. Okay. Now we're ready to launch our app for the first time. Usually at this point, we would have to host your app somewhere, copy and paste the address, log into your partner's dashboard, find where the app is, and paste it in the app launch URL. And if you were hosting locally, you'd have to do that every single time you sit down to code. If you're a developer out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But instead, with the app CLI, we can launch our app simply by typing in Shopify serve. That means that every time that you sit down to code, you can get started right away. The App CLI is just is a big step forward in terms of developer tooling, and we're just getting started. Our teams at Shopify will continue to build support for new commands and new tech stacks going forward, but we're really proud to say that we're going to be open source the CLI tool from day one so that you can customize it to the way that you work. Yeah. With the app CLI, now there's a single tool to help you create a world-class app on Shopify, and it's available in beta today. Okay. 
OK. Now let's talk about how we're making apps more embedded in Shopify. This isn't a new concept, actually. For years, you've been able to embed your apps in Shopify's products. Being embedded means that you can create a more natural workflow for merchants, and that merchants using your app don't have to click between different tabs. It also gives you access to native features, like the ability to edit cart and point of sale. In fact, at Shopify, we believe in an embedded experience so much that we've embedded all of our own Shopify built apps. So today, the two libraries you would use to embed your app are the EESDK and point of sale app SDK. But over the last 12 months, we've completely overhauled these libraries and the structure underneath them so that they can be even more powerful going into the future. And now we're really proud to offer a new single tool called the Shopify AppBridge. With AppBridge, you're able to easily learn one library and use it everywhere, from admin to mobile to point of sale. The code that you use to launch a modal and admin is now the same no matter where you want to use it. And that makes learning how to use AppBridge way easier than before. Not only that, but the AppBridge is up to four times faster when running on mobile. And the AppBridge works with popular developer tools like Redux so that you can easily debug your embedded apps. In terms of features, out of the box, it gives you everything that the point of sale app SDK does and the ESDK does, except with a few new exciting additions. The AppBridge will also support a new context bar, product picker, and new mobile functions like NFC and barcode scanning. So that if you're building an app that helps merchants manage exchanges, you can allow merchants to scan their packages instead of manually entering their tracking codes. And this saves merchants time and energy when processing exchange orders, making your app more valuable. Shopify AppBridge is available today, and we can't wait to see what you build with it. So we've talked about how we're making uh, apps easier to build with the Shopify uh, CLI, and how we're making apps more embedded with the new AppBridge. But to be really valuable, apps also need to be fast. And so this year, we're doubling down on our commitment to GraphQL. GraphQL has a lot of advantages, but the most important one is that it allows you to request exactly what you need, cutting down on the number of requests that you need to make to Shopify. The fewer the requests, the faster your app. And we all know that the faster your app, the more valuable it can be for merchants. So let's say that your app is trying to process an order with 10 line items in it. Today with REST, you'd have to make one API call to collect the order details, and then one API call for each line item in that order. Together, that means you would have to make 11 API calls just to get the details of one order. That's pretty crazy. But with GraphQL, this is just one API call. And it's not just faster in terms of calls. GraphQL also helps you code faster because you can parse through less data. These are just some of the reasons that we at Shopify, Shopify believe so much in GraphQL and why we've been using it internally to build tools like the Shopify admin and point of sale for almost three years now. And because we believe truly that GraphQL is the next step forward for the platform, this is the first year that we're releasing uh, APIs only in GraphQL. Yes. And although we'll continue to support REST, I'm really, we're really excited about GraphQL and we'll continue to release features only in GraphQL. And so there's no better time than now to start using it. In November, we promoted our GraphQL API in admin out of beta. And since then, close to 2,000 apps have already started using it. We know that adopting a new technology can be challenging, and we want to go along this journey with you. And so to start, we've invested in new documentation to make learning GraphQL easier, and we've updated popular libraries like the Shopify API gem so that you don't have to change your tech stack to get started. Together, the App CLI, AppBridge, and GraphQL make apps easier to build, more embedded, and faster than ever before. But we realize that if we're going to build a platform that continues to scale at the rate that Shopify is growing, we were missing one last important goal, to make apps more stable. 
Over the last 18 months, we shipped some powerful new features in locations and multi-currency. And they were great. They were features that merchants had been asking for for years. But to get them right, they required us to fundamentally change the core platform of Shopify. And for both of these features, we had to make a choice, either to break the API or to make the API more confusing in the long run. And because at Shopify, we believe in building for the future, we chose to break the API. And so we worked with all of you in the ecosystem to upgrade your apps. And for all of that work that you all put in, we want to extend a huge thank you. Looking ahead, when we were thinking about how we want to communicate platform changes in the future, we wanted to do better. We wanted to make sure that keeping up with the platform was as easy as possible so that you can feel in control of your apps and your business. Our goal is to make sure that you can easily tell what is guaranteed to work and what needs to get upgraded just by looking at your code. And so back in April, we versioned our admin API. And today, I'm excited to announce that we'll also be versioning our storefront and check out API in July. Now we'll release a new version of these APIs every quarter, and each version will work uninterrupted for at least a year, guaranteed. Even with versioning, we know how much work it takes to upgrade an app when there are major changes, so I want to stress that we're still building features so that they're backwards compatible as much as possible. Versioning is simply our way to make sure that when we absolutely need to change the API, we let you know well in advance and we give you the tools to upgrade smoothly. Versioning the platform is just one of the things that we're doing this year to make sure that we have a healthy ecosystem going into the next 10, 20, 100 years of Shopify. Because ultimately, we're all on this journey together in making commerce better for everyone. Thank you.